Uh, Governor Mike DeWine of Ohio joins me now exclusively. Governor, you know, what do you say to her? She said, now we're learning about more chemicals. She's afraid to go back home. She doesn't think she can be able to sell her house because she lives in that zone. I, I mean, she's in a tough situation. She's certainly not alone. No, look, I feel for her. I feel for any of the residents who are, who are concerned. They're concerned about their families. Uh, there's nothing more important to us than our kids or our grandkids. So um, I, I, I get it. Um, I can just tell you, Martha, that we have done, uh, we've brought the scientists in. Uh, we brought the people in who can test the air uh, throughout this. The air has been good. We've, uh, you know, we initially, told people within a mile radius that they should leave. They should get, you know, exit from there, leave their homes. Most of them did that. Some didn't, but most of them did that. Uh, we went back three different times, you know, again, warning them that they should, in fact, leave. Um, then after we had the uh, controlled uh, emission that took, that took place, we, you know, continued to monitor uh, that air. And, um, you know, we waited until that air was, again, clear uh, before we announced that people could go back, you know, uh, voluntarily, whatever they wanted to do, but they could go back into their own homes. Uh, so we continue to monitor the air. Uh, we've told people that we will go into their homes uh, and send the experts in, the people who can do the testing and test right, right in their individual home. We're continuing to do that. Uh, EPA has been in many, many, many homes, hundreds of homes. They're going to continue to do that. Uh, as far as the water, um, you know, we just got back. Uh, I was just handed a couple minutes ago the results of the testing of the village's water supply. There's five separate wells, and we now have results back from all the wells. All the wells indicate uh, the testing is negative, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Uh, that water certainly can, can be uh, consumed by, by residents. I know people have been concerned about that. You know, we advise people until we got the testing back, we advise them, you know, don't drink the water, uh, you know, use bottled water. But the experts all along told us, look, these wells are so deep, uh, we yeah. don't see that how that any kind of problem at so all. So you're, you're assuring uh, people we, that we the tell, drinking water is safe to drink. You said you just got these tests back and yes. it's safe to drink. But that, you hear that, what that, they're saying, Governor. Be, you, you, hear, you hear the folks uh, that Garrett Tunney interviewed and, and they, they don't believe it. They say, you know, we've seen this show before in different situations. I think of, uh, of you know, 9-11. Everyone was told, you know, it's, the air's safe. It's all been tested. Come back down. And then you see what happens 5, 10, 20 years later people end up with cancer that then gets traced back to these situations. So, you know, why not bring in FEMA, set up housing, give this some time uh, to make sure that, that what you're finding now is what you're going to be finding a week, a month, and six months from now? Look, many people have gone to hotels. The railroad has been paying for them to be in the hotel. Uh, they certainly can continue to do that if they want to do that. Uh, all, all we can do uh, is give people the best information that we have from the best scientists we have. Uh, they obviously have to make their own individual decision. We've made it very clear that the railroad is responsible for this. Uh, I talked to the CEO yesterday and I said, look, people are concerned that you're going to leave. Railroad is going to leave before you have this cl totally cleaned up. Uh, the CEO told me, absolutely not. We're not going to leave. We're going to stay in there and we're going to hold him to that. Uh, there's still removing some of the some of the, the dirt um, and actually taking it taking it away uh, because you have to go down into the dirt you know particularly at that at that site where the trains wrecked uh, so that you, you know, know that work is <laughs> yeah I, I hear you and it's it's a difficult situation governor but I'm, I'm thinking about the woman that Garrett Tunney just interviewed and she said oh we see what happens we see the dirt that goes back over the area and then the trains come back and they run and she says but people don't care about us in this situation. And, you know, I, I'm wondering, you also had a question yesterday in, about the plume, that enormous plume of smoke that went up into the sky. So it's not just in that mile radius, it's going over how many miles of, of radius, those, you know, all of the chemicals Arthur, that are carried in that. Look, Arthur, I, I understand that. I understand the concern. Uh, first of all, you know, I don't, 
have a concern for the railroad. The only concern I have is for the people who live there. These are these are people who live in the state of Ohio and people live in, in Pennsylvania. These are people we, we care about. Uh, I, you know, I don't care about the railroad. Uh, ultimately, we care about the people. Our obligation is to give the people the best information we can and put the people in there, the scientists in there, to do the testing and to continue to do the testing. We're not leaving. Uh, the Ohio EPA is there. The Ohio Department of Health is there. I have my two directors who are there. Uh, they have been there. They're going to stay there. And we're going to continue to give any kind of assistance that we can. We're going to continue to test. We're going to continue to make sure that this uh, whole whole community is safe. We're going to do everything that we can. So I, know you I understand said, people's yeah, concerns. I, I get it. I understand I'm their sure, concerns. Sure you but all we can do is give the best information. So. You know, questions about the federal government. Um, Senator Vance pushed back a little bit on that in, on this show. And then you said, no, we've had a great response from the Biden administration uh, to this problem. He's asking, you know, where's Pete Buttigieg? Do you wonder why he hasn't been there, looked at what's going on? Is he looking at the testing that's going on? Is he looking at the damage to that one car? Why did this happen? Why so many derailments lately? Is he involved to the extent that he should be in this, Governor? Well, look, I've not seen him at all. I did get a call from the president. Uh, you know, the president said, I'll send you whatever whatever you need. I said, look, Mr. President, the your EPA has been in here from the word go. They've been working with the Ohio EPA. They've been working very closely. Uh, when we did the modeling, when that plume was going to go up, we knew it was going to go up. The modeling was uh, really done to a great extent uh, by the U.S. military. Uh, told us exactly, you know, where they thought the danger zones were. We went back in there based on that information for the third time and asked people to leave who were in that that particular area. We continued to monitor outside that area, and frankly, as the, those monitors continued to show um, that that air outside that particular area when this occurred was it was in fact safe. So look, we are concerned. We're not going to leave. We're going to continue to do everything that we can every single day, 24-7, because, look, this, this could be my family in there. It could be uh, a loved one in there. These are people we care about. They're our citizens, and we're going to do everything we can to protect them. So you're saying the water is safe to drink, and the water it is safe to go back into that the, area, in your opinion, even though you hear these people saying they've got polka dot lips and they're waking up in the middle of the night uh, flushed and red. Or the, let me qualify the water. Okay. Uh, the water in the system, the, the community system, the village's system, that water is safe. If you have an individual well, mm -hmm. what we have said is we will come out, Ohio EPA will come out and test your individual well. So until your well is tested, if that's what your water source is, you should not drink it. Okay. I would I would wait until I I've, I've got the all clear from an actual test that had been done if you have an individual well. Okay. You're getting your water out of the tap, you're getting your water from the village system. That has now been cleared. And, and you that don't, is the you don't see a need. You're back. not asking for FEMA to come in and provide housing and water and all of that right now. You you don't see the need for that. Look, the, 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 the water's been provided so far by the railroad uh you know, again, uh, we, we know from the test that the water in the village system is, in fact, good. Uh, if you have an individual well, you need to wait and, and, have that, and have that tested. All right. Governor DeWine, thank you. We appreciate your time today. And uh, you. we're, you know, hoping that, uh, that the, the information that you have now is correct and that it continues to be. A lot of concerns with the people on the ground. Many of them say they, get, they don't want to go home. Don't want to go back uh, to that area, so we'll see how this goes. Thank you, sir. Good to have you with us today. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.